Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Zangi from Contbuild Academy. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to create composite wall structures in Archicad. So I'm going to start by creating a new project. So I'll go to File, New, and then choose New. This is going to open settings, or rather that is going to allow me to choose uh, the template that I want to use and the work environment profile that I want to set for this new project. So without changing anything, I'm going to have Archicad 25 template.tpl selected here. And then under work environment profile, I choose to have the default profile in place. Then click on new. So you will see Archicad starting to create a new project for us. When that process is completed, you are going to see this uh, welcome screen, which which shows us the or rather which gives us the, 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 the shows us the user interface of Archicad where we have at the center here, the workspace, we have the various uh, design and documenting tools. To this side, we have the project browser and uh, the tabs that are available there. So a lot of the tasks that are, we are going to be doing, based on whether we are manipulating files, we are editing things, we are viewing, designing, documenting, and all those. But the scope of this video is to discuss composite wall structures. So let's say you are doing a construction project and you have, a, you, have, you have the various types of walls that you are constructing for your project maybe you have natural stone walls with plaster on both sides maybe you have a, a machine cut stone or other you have concrete block walling which is uh, plastered to the inside we have stone facing to the outside anything that you can imagine anything that can be part of a, of a construction project so if we activate the wall tool by going to design up here, then architectural tools and click on this wall tool to activate it. Let's go to the project settings dialog there, which is going to open and is going to show us the wall default settings that we have. In terms of geometry and positioning here, if you look at uh, the right side, you're going to have these three uh, representations of the structures that uh, you are able to create in Archicad. And the first one is a basic structure. The second one is a composite structure. And the third one is a complex profile. What we are looking at is creating a composite structure. Composite means that you will have uh, more than one material put together to form that wall. So when you come down here, you have, you have this option for, for the various structures that are available. So click on this arrow. You're going to have all these composites that are preloaded when you create a new project in Archicad, this means they are already created for you in the template that you have chosen when we are creating our new project. So in terms of, uh, you have like an example of a block double wall that is plastered, you have a block insulated cavity, you have block insulated cavity which is plastered, you have all these types of walls that are available here. Let's say when you are creating your own project, these that are listed here are not the ones that you want to use. So what are you supposed to do? What you are supposed to do is you're supposed to, to create a custom one so that it fits the requirements of your, of your project. And that is what we are going to do. So for example, let's say we have a, a wall here. I'm activating the grid display and then zoom to the inside. Let's, let's say you, we create a wall or rather we draw a wall here like that. So this wall, if you look at uh, the 2D appearance of this wall, you'll see you have this structure that runs from here to here, which is the main or the, the, the main structure for that wall, that is the main material. And we have this external part looks like the finish for that wall. So this is under, is under generic wall shell. So let's go and investigate what type or, or rather what materials form this composite. So to access the, the, the composites, we go to options. So we go up here to options, element attributes, and then click on composites. And this is going to open uh, this window, pop-up window that shows us uh, this composite material, which is generic roof stock shell. For the, for the wall that we had created already, is uh, under, click here and choose uh, generic wall stock shell. So generic wall stock shell, is the composite that is already there and if you look at this skin and line structure you're going to see we have this part which specifies what is in the outside and this bottom part that specifies specifies what is to the inside of that wall 
Inside means this is the part that will form, will uh, be to the internals of the building, and this is the part that's going is going to be to the externals of that building. So by clicking on this, this arrow is going to be changing and pointing you to uh, to, to 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 the to the skin that we've clicked. So let's click on uh, on generic structural, and generic structural is this material from here to here. So if you go back to generic external cladding, you'll find that this part here is the external cladding, which is 50 millimeters thick, while the structural part is uh, 250 millimeters thick. So at the bottom here, you'll have the total um, thickness of that wall, which is going to be 300 mm. You are able to use this with either a wall, a slab, a roof, or a shell. So down here, if you want to add anything to this skin wall, or rather to this uh, composite, you can be able to either insert a skin or remove a skin by just clicking on these two. At the top here, you have buttons for creating a new composite, for renaming this composite, or deleting this composite. So that that's it. That's the structure of uh, that's the structure of this composite that we have for the wall that we have created. So assume we duplicate this wall. So copy, and then in terms of uh, in terms of uh, moving, you want to drag multiple copies. Then I will have this wall here. One, two, three, four. Let's have like five copies of that. Escape and get back to that. So the very first one is under generic wall stroke shell. The second one that we are selecting here, you want to go up to the settings dialog for that wall and then and uh, this, here we have the composites. Let's select another material that we have been given here. Let's say we want to use a block insulated cavity plastered. Click on it, then click on OK. Then watch what happens. You see the, the 2D appearance of this wall in the floor plan has changed. So it's the same with if we view this wall from, from, the, sec from the sectional view. So let's go to design up, or rather, Let's go to document, documenting tools, and uh, create a new section. So we'll draw this elevation viewpoint from there to there so that we'll be able to see all these walls in section. So select like that, right click, and choose open with current view settings. This is going to open the, the, the sectional view. And you are going to see the first wall that we had created here appears the same in, in section as in a floor plan. The same with uh, this uh, block insulated cavity wall that we have created there. Let's try to have another composite before I show you how to create a custom one. Let's try, let's try to have uh, this second wall here. Select it. Go to this top bar here where we have the structure. Just click and then choose. Let's have this type of a wall. See the changes that uh, have been made to the floor plan view. Let's go to this other wall and try to do the same thing. Under structure here, we will want to have a basement wall. Eh? And you can also see the changes that have uh, reflected here for that wall. So back to, to creating a custom um, composite. So let's say now I have a construction project that I am uh, trying to model a house. And my external walls are going to be natural stone with the inside face uh, of that wall being a plastered lime and sand plaster then the external part of that wall is going to be a brick or stone facing something of that sort so i'll go to to options at the top here options element attributes and click on composites this is going to open and then where we have this generic wall i want to duplicate this so that i can be able to change uh, the skins and the line structure that is specified here so i'll click on new which is going to allow me to create a new composite structure. And I'll call this one uh, natural stone wall. That's natural, natural stone wall. And I call it external like that. Then instead of creating a new one, I'll click on duplicate. And then I will have the generic, generic stroke wall uh, composite structure here that I am duplicating. So if I click on OK, you are going to see this new composite that I have created appearing here. The line and the skin structure is the same. So we begin with the, the, outs, uh, the, the outside part, which I said we are going to have this material as a, let's say brick or a stone facing. So click on this and we'll have 
a whole lot of options for the building materials that you can choose. So in terms of this, I want to have a brick finish, which is 45 millimeter. Then at the center here, you're going to have a stone. So click on this arrow. It's going to give you options for the materials that you want to choose. And here, I'm going to go with stone structural. This is 190 mm for my wall. Then I want to insert another skin. So I just click on this one that is here. Click on insert skin. Then this is going to be the inside part. The inside part of that wall, which instead of having stru uh, structural stone, I'm going to have um, plaster. So here we have plaster, lime sand, and this is going to be 15 millimeter. Update like that. And you'll, you are going to see this uh, appearing like this. So when you are done, I want you to come here and click on OK. Then go back to Options, Element, Attributes, and Composites. And if you look at the options here, you're going to see that the natural stone wall tunnel that you've created is already available for you to choose. So click on OK, select this wall, go back to the settings dialog for the wall, and here under structure, click on this arrow and you'll be able to locate. You'll be able to locate the natural stone wall external that we've created. Click on it. It's going to appear here. Then the next thing that you're going to do is click on OK and watch what happens to the wall in the floor plan view. So this is the structure of that wall that we have created. So go back to, that is our external wall. The internal wall, I want to have a natural stone wall which is plastered on both sides. So for me, I want to create a custom composite wall structure. So I'll go to, I'll go to options up here, element, sorry, options, element attributes, click on composites. Here we have the natural stone wall external that we had created. So I use this button new and then yeah, I'll create natural stone wall and this will be the internal one. Click OK. You'll see this one appearing here. So we will have a separator as a line. The external part of that wall is going to be plaster material. So look for plaster. We have plaster lime there. And I'll change the thickness to 15 millimeter. You'll have a line for separating the two materials and the center here will have the normal uh, uh, stone structural but this is going to be 140 millimeter and then uh, to the inside part we'll have the same lime plaster as 15 mm so in terms of the total thickness of our wall we are going to have 170 mm thick wall so i'll click on ok to create that material go back to composites then if you look at, if you look at the list that we have here the list the list that we have here, you have the external one and the internal one that we have created. So back to this internal wall of ours. So let's click to select, then go back to the settings dialog. It's a lengthy process anyway, but if you want, when you have the wall selected here, you can just go up here where you have um, rather the customizations for the wall. You have the structure options for the structure. You'll be able to see natural stone wall internal here. So click and watch what happens to to our internal wall in a, in in a floor plan view. Looks like this. So let's go to the building section view and we'll see all these walls get updated here. These are the two composites that we've created. If you look at our internal wall, you have the center part, which is uh, this natural stone up to there. Then you have the external ones, which you have this and that as the plaster finishes that we've created. The external one add a, a brick facing or rather, rather brick finish to the outside. The center, we have the natural stone structure. Then to the inside part, we have the plaster. So that's how to, to create uh, composite wall structures. And uh, this should be able also to update in 3D and you'll be able to see the various materials and the appearances that they have, including the, 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 the various layers that, or rather the skin and, and line structures that we have customized for, 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 each, for each wall. So that's how to create a composite wall structure. I hope this video has been helpful to you. So if you've learned something, please give it a like, share it with uh, your friends and other people that are looking for Akika tutorials. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, activate the bell icon so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified as the first person. Thank you and see you in the next video.
Cheers.